Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Persona 5 Royal and we hit the 100 hour mark. Oh my gosh. We put 100 hours into this game, ladies and gents. 100 hours. That's crazy. We've got probably at least 30 more. Um, this is a little bit of a slower playthrough, I think, uh, simply because I'm reading everything out to you guys. Uh, most people playing on their own would get to this point before the 100 hour mark, most likely. Um, but yeah, we're playing a little bit slower because I'm reading everything, and uh, that naturally will make things go a little bit slower. I said slower a lot. Okay. Um, let's see. We can actually go out and do something tonight, but it kind of looks like... Okay, we have somebody. Good. So we have, oh yeah, pretty soon here we're going to start ending up with uh, days and nights where we can't really accomplish anything. That's why we really need to uh, get into uh, mementos before that happens. But let's go ahead and do oh yeah tonight. Um, I don't know if in the last episode we, I don't think we had a day time to do affinity readings. So let's go ahead and do a reading. I can sense it just by looking at your face. The death aura is emitting a strange light. Please be careful. Thanks for the warning, girl. What shall we do? Okay. Chihaya and Ryuji are on my list. Oh, that's right. We might be able to test out Chihaya's thing today. What shall we do? So I'm going to back out real quick. Let's do it. I don't know why I'm doing this, because literally we just had a save. Like, we just loaded this thing up, so... <laughs> now, we do not have a fortune persona, correct? Correct. Um. We're gonna do a quick test with Chihaya here. What shall we do? Okay, so that's interesting. So what happened earlier is we did this test without it. Basically, what this confirms to me is that every time we do an affinity reading, we're getting two affinity points. And there's a, there's a, a possibility that if you have the correct persona of the same arcana, you might get three affinity points. But I can't really confirm that with this test. What this tells me is that we're at least getting two points. Hmm, okay. What do you think? Alright, well, she's ready to go anyways. We'll maybe try out some of these tests some more to uh, see what else we can learn. But we're getting at least two affinity points from this. Is the one thing that I can suss out. Okay. Um, let's see here. So we need a Devil Arcana. Let's do it. Hey, inmate! And if that's the case, then the article that was uh, sent to me by a commenter would be accurate. That you get two on base, you and you get three if you have the bows. correct Arcana. For some Power All right, let's sacrifice. maybe just like strengthen somebody. Honestly, it doesn't even matter that much. Do not expect this is what it shall become through exit. <laughs> this may be a bit gruesome. Finished for now. You'd like to read the compen- Read here. Alright, devil. Is this what you want? You'll withdraw this, but then accept this. You lack pay. Are you finished? What? It is time, inmate. Oh, honey. Hmm. Well, 
Kumara Foods, that was unexpected, huh? And then your principal commits suicide. The public blames the Phantom Thieves for both incidents, but something doesn't add up. Maybe you're rubbing off on me, but I guess a journalist got to question everything. Ah, <sighs> God, my head is splitting. Work's been tough. I need a break. You have any good stories? I'm taking a little break, so I'm all ears. Well then. Lala-chan, two drinks, please. Here, take a seat. They're both for her. <laughs> Alright, looks like she got me a, a virgin something. Ugh, I'm so exhausted. Thanks to my quota and that shithead chief. But I made some progress on my personal investigation. I did some research on the Phantom Thieves. I'm starting to get the impression they might actually be the real deal. No signs of an internal power struggle, no dirty money changing hands. It almost seems like all this recent negative press was fabricated. There's no actual proof to support the claims. And I mean, you're still a fan, right? Honestly, the more I get to know about the Phantom Thieves, the better I understand them. I can relate to their sincerity. They remind me of how I used to be. I already know firsthand that fighting the evils of society is a never-ending thankless job, but I still do it nonetheless. I bet the Phantom Thieves share that same type of passion. I never thought I'd hear you talking about passion, Ichigo-chan. Maybe all this talk about the Phantom Thieves has influenced you, or maybe it's just the kid. Maybe. I mean, he is a pretty big fan of theirs, so... Yes, this is Oya. That's right. What? You, you found Kayo? Where is she? What do you mean you can't tell me? Why the hell not? Hey, what's going on? Wait. Kayo. Could it be? That was one of my journalist friends. He thinks he found Kayo. He followed up on a pretty far-fetched string of rumors for me, but now he's saying he doesn't want to get involved. Damn it, why the hell won't he tell me what's going on? I can't just give up now. At least that's progress. I mean, we didn't even know Kayo-chan was still alive before now, so... Stop right there. Ugh. I knew it. You've been looking into Kayo's case behind my back. Well, not anymore. I've cut off all your resources. I suggest you drop this investigation if you don't want to face the consequences. Wait, you're the one who pressured my contact to keep quiet? I told you, this is where your wild goose chase ends. What do you know, chief? What do you know? You're hiding something. Oh, and I'll be doubling your quota again. No more of this personal investigation, got it? Huh? What? Are you trying to kill me? Hey now, Mr. Chief. Can you really do that? I don't think anyone asked for your opinion, bit. Oh, ho, ho. oh, Chief, you don't talk to Lala Chan that way. I will throw punch you. Listen to me, Oya. Give it up, unless you want to end up just like that stupid friend of yours. Oh, that's a threat. Don't talk about Kaya like that. Stop messing around. Don't you dare. If you even think about talking shit on Kaio again, I won't hesitate to beat the living crap out of you. Look at that face, I believe her. Whoa, hold on. Take back everything you just said, or I'm gonna do even worse. <laughs> Lola's the best. It's too late now. The higher-ups have decided to put that incident to rest, and that's what we're doing. You understand? That spineless little bastard only cares about himself. Shit. This had to happen just as I got a new lead on Kaya. What should I do? Should I go knock him out? Yes. <laughs> Let's think of another way. That's easy for you to say. No, I need to stay calm. Calm, yes, calm. I can't give him any more reason to fire me. Just stay calm and... Ah, this sucks. An even greater quota is gonna be a problem, but I can't give up now. I promise I won't stop fighting. I'll prove it to you with another great article. Exclusive, Fan Thieves Stealing Hearts and Changing Lives. Uh, sorry. I really will try and calm down now. I can sense Oya's passionate devotion. Okay, Ichiko Aya, rank 7. Outrageous Scoop allows you to begin with an even lower security level when infiltrating the palace. Alright. I'm still frustrated, though. All that bullshit he said is really getting to me. 
I wish I was better at controlling my emotions like you are. <laughs> you should work on that. You're... You, sh you should work on that. <laughs> <laughs> you little brat. More importantly, Ichigo-chan, how are you going to manage having your quota doubled? I'll just work twice as hard. I should be fine as long as I keep getting good info from my favorite source here. Give me some news. Oh, that reminds me. Let me hear all about today's scoop. Alright, girl. I got your back. I spoke about the Phantom Thieves in a way that somehow piqued Oya's interest. <laughs> somehow. That's incredibly vague. <laughs> The writers were like, I don't I don't know what info we're giving her. Like, I don't know. I should be going. See you next time. Uh, see you next time you have info for me. Sup, kid. Thanks for bringing in all that good info. You're really the only reason I'm still surviving through my crazy quota. And it honestly helped that you were there with me earlier. If you weren't there, I would have just gone full blast on the chief. And that would have been it. But I finally get a lead on Kayo. I'll do whatever it takes to find her. That's the spirit. Right? I'm not gonna let this crap get me down. I'm made of tough stuff. Watch me, Chief Shithead. <laughs> You're gonna be crying at my feet. Chief Shithead, I like that. Still, I do have my limits. I gotta do something about this insane quota. Well, I'll come up with something. You just focus on getting me new info, okay? Okay, see you soon. Night. All right, man. School festival, here we go. The festival seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we gotta catch you as a guest. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Lovely. Acting like normal students is going to be important. What do you normally do at a school festival? Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? There's no set rules for this kind of thing. Walk around and hang out, like when we went to the beach. I mean, just enjoy yourself. I think I can do it if I've got everyone with me. You're so laid back. There's a possibility that your name and Ryuji's have come up. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day, too. Hey, man. The most natural thing to do is to act like a normal high school student. Come to this thing and have some fun. Yeah? Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. Now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um... <sighs> you seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone, and eat at the refreshment stands. This will be a great change of pace from all the nasty stuff lately. Shall we head off to the stands then? Yeah, let's do it. All right, this is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good, from what I've heard. I know a great one. Follow me. This is the place. <laughs> Me, takoyaki? Oh, takoyaki is so good. I'll show you all to your seats. Oh no. I'm gonna have to get takoyaki today for lunch, aren't I? Oh, I have no choice. I have no choice. Ramen and takoyaki. The only place I can get takoyaki is from a from a ramen shop, so that that's nearby. But man, is it so good. They've only got one style though. So, it's your class's stand. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's 
like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. <laughs> May I take your order? Welcome home? Take my order? What happened to the maid atmosphere? There are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. <laughs> the hell? Well then, I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. I'm sorry. We're out of cod bro. Then how about the squid? Um, we're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that doesn't even sound remotely possible. Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. <laughs> oh, I can see that. Ryuji, you're making a scene. Then, what would you recommend with what you have now? That would be the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. Uh, let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. I kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. Hell no. I'm of the same mind. Still, it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechi Kun is planning. Thank you for the wait! Ooh, it's fresh made! Lies! I heard a microwave go off! <laughs> well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. Okay, the place that I get takoyaki from doesn't make crispy takoyaki. I want to try it. I want to try it so many... Oh, so many things in Japan. I need to go there someday. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Well, one of these is special. Uh, one of them's obviously red. <laughs> That's gotta be the one. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like, going for the obvious one is manly. <laughs> is that so? Morgana's like, let me... I prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are misshapen. Oh, poor Yusuke. Oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Wait, is she honestly going for it? Do you want to go for the red one? You think it'll be spicy? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, everyone's all here. Oh, here's the man himself. What you up to, my man? Th the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes, since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. <laughs> I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. I'm going to have one of these. Oh, sure, help yourself. <gasps> the special one. Let's just call this my performance fee. What a dick move. But... It's fine. Hmm. It's quite the... <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's spicy. Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. <gasps> My throat. This is... Oh, my stomach. It burns. You know, 
He kind of deserved it. <laughs> I love this moment. He just comes over and helps himself some, to some takoyaki. How rude. Are you okay? Do you need water? Could have at least asked, man. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm fine. I just love uh, Look at him shake. spicy, spicy stuff. <laughs> hey, does he sound broken to you? <laughs> well then, I'll, I'll see you uh, t t tomorrow. <laughs> wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. But did he truly come to simply check the venue? This isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That a catchy guy. When he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? Ooh. You're here just imagining things. <laughs> or is she though? Is she? So I guess we got through all of it, okay? Yes, but the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. Being cautious takes a lot out of you. Seriously? I think I'm as tired now as I am after midterms. I didn't mind any of that. I just love seeing that detective gulp down the special takoyaki. Yeah, it was pretty good. I had fun as well, since I got to spend time with you all. What would you like to do now, Haru? Walk around a little more? I appreciate the gesture, but I'm satisfied with stopping here. Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with Akechi-kun again tomorrow, after all. I have to agree. What will his next move be? Oh? Wait. Uh, Analog? Yusuke's missing. Oh yeah, he's gonna go and talk to Maruki. Uh, where'd he wander off to? Always doing whatever he pleases. Think he's still checking out all the festival stalls? Let's head back. Well, I'm sure he'll be fine. This is Yusuke we're talking about. Let's head home. Yeah, we gotta get everybody to meet Maruki. Um... Excuse me, you are Dr. Takuto Maruki, correct? Uh... Huh? Yes. Yes. I... My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. K Kitagawa. I'm a student in the Fine Arts Division at Kosei High. I do apologize for interrupting your day, but ever since Ryuji and An first spoke of you, I've grown quite intrigued. Now, I wish to speak with you as well. Ryu... Oh, Sakamoto-kun. And Takamaki-san? Quite. Well, I'm flattered that you've taken an, an interest in me. You're here about the counseling, correct? Indeed. Correct. <laughs> so intense. Now, teach me how to unshackle the human heart and glimpse into its endless abyss. Hold on. Whoa, whoa. Huh? Hold on there. How should I put this? Your enthusiasm is appreciated, but I suspect there's a huge misunderstanding about what I do. I apologize. I simply couldn't contain my excitement. Would you still permit me to witness your counseling skills in action? That's not really allowed. <laughs> how about it? But how about this? Why not try out my counseling yourself instead? Me? Uh, well, of course, there's no charge. All you'd have to do is chat with me for a bit. Well then. Very well, you and I shall go head to head. <laughs> I'm not sure what you think happens in counseling, but, uh, there won't be any of that. I see, so you are Madarame sons. It's in the past. How curious, I never imagined counseling to be like this. Well, uh... I'd say this is less counseling and more about building a rapport. When someone first comes to see me, we always start with them telling me a bit about themselves. Hmm. A method of self-reflection that relies on speaking with another person, so as to sort through one's own emotions. That's rather similar to the internal cross-examination I perform when working on my art. There really shouldn't be any cross-examining in a proper counseling session, though. 
I just do my best to guide patients in a positive direction so they can improve their lives. At the very least, I talk them through their problems so that they can make correct choices for themselves. I see. However, if you're the one leading them to their conclusions, are they truly making the choices for themselves? Isn't that just submitting to another person's will? In all honesty, I'm sure there are people out there who think that. But life in this world confines people to certain frames of mind sometimes and without them even realizing it. If I can help lift the weight off their shoulders and free their minds, I believe the results are worth it. It's an interesting line. Huh. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much for speaking with me. This has been a most valuable experience. Oh, yes. Before you go, Kitagawa-kun, what would you say is your greatest wish in life at the moment? Would it be success as an artist? I... No, that's not it. The only desire I have for my art is for it to improve through my own efforts. I see. Then what would you wish for? I would wish for the world to see my mother's painting for the masterpiece that it is, no matter how briefly. And if at all possible, I would also wish to meet a wonderful master, one who could take me in and guide my brush with care. Hmm. I see. All right. At Thank you. At any rate, I must be going now, so please excuse me. I hope we meet again someday. Tomorrow's the moment of truth. Akechi's panel. Apologies for suddenly disappearing like that. The legend of the lost Inari has come to an end. Where the hell were you? Did you seriously get lost? I saw a man who resembled Dr. Maruki, so I went to see him. So he was there? Did you go to his counseling? Yes, it was certainly not what I was expecting. Once this is all over, I think I'd like to go to another session. Try not to cause him any trouble, all right? I'll do my best. Are you all at home? Yeah. Are you still at school, Yusuke? No, I just got back to the dorm. I'm getting ready for bed. Already? Is that unusual? Tomorrow is Akechi Kun's panel, after all. An early night means he'll be able to concentrate tomorrow. That's true. We'll need to stay focused tomorrow. We have to stay calm no matter what he says. Right. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. It's really up to Makoto to get as much information as we can from Akechi. We'll have to make sure we don't miss anything. Okay, looks like we can do something tonight. Um, what message is this? Photo time! Oh, nice! Manny, even ya even Yakisoba looks high class when Hara's eating it. Please, you're exaggerating. I think this is my first time having Yakisoba from a food stand, though. It was more delicious than I'd imagined. It was, it wasn't the instant stuff, but it's still good. Yeah, don't know why, but food from a stall is always weirdly tasty. Speaking of, where are the pictures of us on? Huh? You got pics of us too, right? <laughs> How about the one you took of Analog's Yakisoba, with the big red mountain of ginger? Oh, no, that one went straight into the trash. I had dry seaweed all over my teeth. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Is there stuff to make curry? Hmm. Looks like we're out of curry ingredients. Let's try making some another day. Okay. I'm not going to make coffee, so we're going to read. Hey. Make sure you close up. Is 
that supposed to be a good joke? Let us hear more about your actual investigative process. I'm not used to being the one interrogated, so please go easy on me. How much do you think he knows? He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as Carefully, you're girl. Say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? <laughs> Look at her go. Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? <laughs> Why it says if you're a prosecutor. Hey, she learned from the best. for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. All right, I can respect not coming to conclusions this, without this evidence. This is all hypothetical, mind you. If the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. <laughs> it's an interesting line. Your comment just now. Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Go to sweating. Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. The police haven't. But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. He's gotta be bluffing. Hide down. He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... You're not going to ask me who they are? <laughs> it may have repercussions on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? It's only my personal opinion. So announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. However, Actually, it would. There is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. The truth? What's he planning on saying? That's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, then very well. I'd like to ask you then. Who do you think the Phantom That idiot! <laughs> no. There's no way he could have any evidence. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are... Oh, it's mine. I apologize <laughs> for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Would you mind if I step away for about ten minutes or so? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. Dude, we'll they would, the like, the minutes. audience would be furious. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? Oh, they will. They will. Laughter, yeah, right. They'd all be so mad. Is there a room I may <laughs> use? There's the PE faculty office. I want you to come, too. There's a matter I want to discuss. 
your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? Did you set this up? <laughs> we only have ten minutes, you know. Makoto's got her serious face on. What do you want to talk about? No! That's gotta be shocked! I have video footage too. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world too. Yes. Us too? I'm sorry? Come again? It's not just all of you. I am aware of that world too. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. He's got the app. Dude, it's the nav. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. Say nothing. I'll take your silence as confirmation. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this. We didn't kill anyone! I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. This guy has a persona too? Th this cat. <laughs> I swear, it just talked. <laughs> Morgana, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana, were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires. Their treasure. Sure you want to be telling him this? And those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> well, there's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an M.O. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake, which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. Interesting. A deal? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you, along with that video I mentioned. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've heard that Sai-san is the one spearheading the investigation about you phantom thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai-san. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. Sai-san can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, 
She may even make up a confession. Who? Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? Just cause they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. Ooh, what should we do about Akechi san's proposal? Hmm. It's demanding a lot. I see. I thought I was making a lot of concessions myself. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. We should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel. Correct? My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He had complete control over us! Yeah, he's kind of got us backed into a corner. Hey, they're going! <laughs> I'm sorry about the sudden break. An urgent task came in. So, I truly apologize about this. But I'll have to end things here today. To make up for the time that was planned for this panel, the Rakugo Research Club will instead be... I can't say anything in detail regarding the Phantom Thieves' investigation, but I feel another great stride will occur again soon. I hope you all continue to pay attention to what happens. Let's have a big round of applause for today's guest, Goro Akechi. Was that really our best course of action? He totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. Look at the he had countertop. received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. Why did Futaba have something like this? Shit! If a calling card Things was are going delivered, so bad. we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover... I knew it. She's... Oh, God. Oh, Sajiro. Pops. Post-festival party? I thought this thing was over. Ooh, is this something new? Eh, nobody invited you to it, so let's just go home. It's probably a Kasumi thing, yeah? Huh? Yeah! Senpai, aren't you going to the post-festival party? Well, now I've got to. I'm not sure yet. Are you gonna invite me along, girl? Then why don't we go together? Hell yes, we're in. Festivals don't come around every day, so we may as well enjoy it while we can.
<laughs> it seems like it's already begun. Let's get in there, Senpai! <laughs> and now, it's time for your favorite shoe teacher. God, I love her. She's great. The student sharing special. Sharing special. Oh dear. What is this? But before that, we've decided to change things up this year. We've got a huge surprise for you all. <laughs> Members of the dance club, come on down. Okay. It's kind of like a <laughs> now everybody, join in! Don't fall behind the dance club. Just standing around while everyone dances is embarrassing. <laughs> Senpai, let's do it. It's showtime. <laughs> there you go, girl. Ha! She's like, whoa! Very impressive. He's senpai. actually got moves. Son, right? The first year? We've got a little favor to ask you. Got it. I'm in. Senpai, I'll be back soon. They've asked me to help them with something. Just wait here and watch what happens. Oh, yes. Here we go. It's definitely got a ballet influence to it. I've actually filmed a lot of ballet. This would be considered sloppy ballet, so it's definitely more of a contemporary spin. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't have proper technique. <laughs> but it's not real ballet, so it doesn't have to. <laughs> there you go, girl. I left the party with Kasumi to cool off a bit outside. Yeah, you better cool off, man. Got him all hot and bothered. That was so exhausting, <laughs> but what a blast. I feel like I danced my heart out back there. As great as I expected. <sighs> Thank you. Wow, that dance was amazing. I know, right? I was totally blown away. <laughs> uh, it's my dad. He's telling me to come home before it gets too late. Sorry to leave you like this, but I have to get going. Want me to walk you? Thank you. I'll be all right, though. Okay. The post-festival party was so much fun, especially with you. See you soon. 
She's adorable. The gym's quieted down. Looks like the dance is over. I ought to head home. The post-festival party is about to begin. Would you like to go together? I tried to think about what happened earlier, but that has gotten me nowhere. So I could use a change of pace. How about it? Sure, let's go. Thank you. I'll be waiting at the gymnasium. I should head to the gym. So, it's important to note that if you do have um, romantic interests that you have gotten in your um, confidant rankings, that you will have other options. Haru is an option here because she's so new that you wouldn't have been able to get to the romance options, so they throw her in as an option anyways. But um, normally, you know, if you had had romantic options with other confidants and you accepted those romantic options, they would also be a choice here. Just so you know. We don't really get a choice here because Haru is the only option at this point. For us. Alright, that was a great performance by the dance club. Everybody give them another round of applause. <sighs> I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking about what Akechi-kun said. Yeah, it was a weird day, wasn't it? Honestly, I'm worried. So frustrating Can't act like it's gonna be to okay when we don't know, you know? And now it's time for your favorite shoujin tradition, the student sharing special! Round of applause, everyone! Sharing? I never knew we had such an event. Alright, who has something to say? Anyone? Anyone? No? I'll just have to pick someone then. Oh! He's going to choose? I wonder who it would be. Yeah, How I wonder. That girl <laughs> over there? I choose you. Huh? Is he looking this way? Well then, come on up. He's talking to me, isn't he? Yep. You're up, girl. So it really is me. <laughs> come, come! Everyone's waiting! Well, I'm going. And your name is? Wait, you're a Kumara son? Um, yes. She's a Kumara son. I'm sure you're, um, still grieving. My, um, deepest apologies. Oh, it's so awkward. Oh, please don't worry. So, uh, do you have anything you'd like to share with us? Something to share. I have too many things. Uh, here, let me give you a question then. Do you think the Phantom Thieves are really Shujin students? <laughs> oh? Man, he's going in for the kill. I mean, they are. Uh, your oh my killers. gosh, dude! We're all dying to know what Akechi-kun was going to say about their true identities. This guy. Have you no tact? He clearly doesn't. So, are they from Shujin? What do you think, Okumura-san? Haru is in trouble. Maybe we can help her out. Well... <laughs> I've always loved you! What? <laughs> now this is drama! A boy caught in the throes of bittersweet youth! A stunning confession of love! Uh -oh. <laughs> Now, did we help or did we just embarrass? <laughs> so, Akumura san, what's your relation to this guy? Th that wasn't what we were talking about! Oh, you want to go back to the other subject, huh? Flustered. Is this a hot scoop? The hottest of scoops. But I'm a gentleman. It hurts my heart to bully such a sweet girl. 
Yeah, he says after... What was that line? Where is it? <laughs> I mean, they are uh, your father's killers. Yeah. Okay. Well, did you all enjoy our blushing beauty? Thank you very much, Okumura-san. Just when it was getting interesting. Oh, she, do your job. The post-festival party is finally over. It turned out to be more like an interview party, huh? I still can't believe you said that. <laughs> you were in trouble. Huh? Right. At any rate, I'm not sure what I would have done without you. Thank you for saving me. You're a mysterious person, but you're so reliable. I think the two of us will get along quite well in the future. <laughs> As they say, who knows what may lie ahead. For now, I'm worried about what happened with Akechi-kun. But I have to say, my first post-festival party was quite fun. Though, I guess it's my last, too. Here, I'd like you to have this. Sakura? Amazaiku? It's an SP item. I... bought it earlier. Can't wait to eat it. Thank you, girl. <laughs> now then, let's go home. Haven't a lot of people been losing their minds lately? Yeah, there's been a sudden increase. I bet it's because of that fan site. I heard the victims were on the rankings there. We should really be blaming the people who requested it. Man, shit has gotten so bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.